The idea to create such an initiative emerged during Monday's visit by Polish government representatives to Kiev. Accession to the European Union is a complicated and difficult process. A process in which a whole series of criteria and requirements must be met in various areas. Poland is ready to share its experience of almost 20 years ago with Ukraine in order to accelerate this process. Poland has supported Ukraine's accession to the European Union from the very beginning. This is not the only help Poland's eastern neighbour can count on. According to the Institute for the World Economy, Poland is third in the list of countries that have given Ukraine the most military support. MiG-29 fighter jets will be handed over in the coming weeks. This could happen in the next four to six weeks. If we want the Ukrainian army to defeat Putin's army, then these fighters are necessary to try to control the Ukrainian skies because this is their Achilles heel. Ukraine needs support in addition to armor. It also needs fighters. The fighters, like the Leopard tanks, are to be transferred as part of a broader coalition of several countries. It has not yet been officially announced which countries will be part of it. According to unofficial information, Slovakia is expected to be one of them. It is not my role to speak on behalf of these countries, although we already have a clear declaration, but we have agreed that each in its own time will announce such a decision. Today, Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki announced that Poland could become an energy hub for Central and Eastern Europe. We freed Poland from Moscow's energy blackmail. Now we are enabling countries in the region to embark on the path of energy independence. We can make the entire region independent of the Russian influence. So Poland is already building a new energy order in Europe. Of course, for today, our priority is energy stability, rebuilding the system and maintaining the electro-energy system and stability of supply in Ukraine. Exactly one year ago, the Prime Ministers of Poland, the Czech Republic and Slovakia were the first foreign politicians to visit Kiev, less than three weeks after the Russian invasion began. We, first of all, want to help Ukraine, and we know how important its struggle is, because it is a struggle for all of us, the Euro-American civilization. It was a very important visit, and it was actually blazing a trail, showing the way to other Western leaders that there is a route to Kiev through Poland, and you can get there safely by train, and you can meet President Zelensky and the Ukrainian government officials. I think it was an important moment. The value of military equipment for Ukraine that Poland has donated is more than $2.5 billion.